Hello, everyone. Mm. Welcome to That's What I Heard, the podcast. Today, we got Tribro Trina in the building. We what got up, Sebastian dog? Canelli in the building. Hey. And we're here to bring you <laughs> the good news. Hit the music, Mike. Here we go. Let's get these questions from the DM. Yeah. That's what I heard. So what do you want to tell you? How is everybody doing? The world burns around us. And <laughs> we are here to it's maybe hot. talk about some lottery winners. Anybody got a good story? What can we do? Yeah. Yeah. I'm. You know what? What? I'm in a real good mental place. Well, the world's falling apart. Well, but hey, fuck good. you for that. <laughs> hey, fuck you for that, okay? I know. It's not appropriate right now. Yeah. Yeah, I've been just taking care of myself. Okay. How have, have you been doing that? I'm happy to hear it. Uh, I've been going to sleep. Oh. Wow. I've been setting a bedtime. Okay. What's the bedtime? Do you set a bedtime? Yeah, sometimes it's really too early, though. Okay. Opposite problems. What time are we talking? Like, sometimes I'll be like, I'm going to go to bed early tonight, and it's 930. Well. But then I don't actually fall asleep. Oh. So it's just, it's a fantasy that never comes true. You in bed. Phone? No phone. Okay, that's the problem. The phone. And you know, these days, I mean, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot to be horrified by. Yeah. Yeah. What's your bedtime? My bedtime, I've been trying to do, um, in bed by 12, off the phone by one. Okay. You got the, you got the game backwards. Oh, that's Huberman. That's Huberman talk. You can't have those lights in you. Yeah, the blue light. Uh, you know yeah. what? I my, I've lived such a mess of a life that I think I could handle the blue lights. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know when you fucked up so much that you're like, I can handle blue lights. Yeah, you're like, you're like, I'm not gonna be perfect. No, I'm not gonna be turning into stardust. No. Like I have certain blocks, I have certain issues, and we're just gonna have to learn to work around those. We're not getting rid of the problems. We're learning to live with the problems. I love that. Um. So, you know. What I was hoping to do today is I was hoping to really just uh, get some get some get some good news. So I looked up, you know, we love our national holidays. Mm. You know, we did a whole episode on our, our beautiful national days, National Margarita Day, National Taco Day. Does Ugh. anything warm the soul like that? Imagine a t- National Taco Day falls on a Friday. <laughs> Oof, that's that's Best a bad day of our lives. Oh God, that would and, be it. and the Friday is Cinco de Mayo. <gasps> <gasps> that would be nuts. That would be nice. Ah, <laughs> manifest. Let's manifest it, girls. <laughs> so I looked up. I, so I went, you know, digging in that in that arena because it always brings me joy. And I said, yeah. okay, what are today's national holidays? And they are the following. The stock market crash day anniversary. Oh. 2008. On this day in 2008, the stock market collapsed. The housing bubble burst. And we slipped into a recession. So if that doesn't get you in a good mood, I don't know what. Additionally, it's also United Nations Day. We're going to need it. We're going to need it. They're really dropping the ball. They're really yeah, where, dropping the ball on this one. What are they up to? What are, where, posted, where's the UN on this? Bro, they posted something online after like mad long of not posting on Instagram. And everybody's like, shut the shut fuck the up. Fuck up yeah. bro. <laughs> Wait, I have more bad news. I'm sorry. Okay. I just looked at my calendar. Mm-hmm. 2023 Cinco de Mayo was a Friday. So we got to wait like six more fucking it just years ha- for this shit. This year, Cinco de Mayo was a Friday. How do we drop the ball on that one, guys? Uh, yeah. Uh, May 5th. May were 5th we even was in a production? Friday on this show yet i'm sorry because i can't imagine a scenario in which we had a friday cinco de mayo and we dropped the ball we wouldn't have we wouldn't have i I don't believe we were in production yet on this show um so yeah we don't know where the un is at on this oh obviously so the the great the great gift and curse of this show is that we are six days behind the news cycle so when Mm. we tape this it doesn't come out for six days so uh we don't know what will be happening by the time this comes out um, Which I, is okay. I hope things will improve, but I don't know if I think they will. I, I don't think so. I don't think we're <laughs> we're gonna get good news in the next six days. You're gonna get good news right now because it's National Bologna Day. Oh yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Does that include mortadella? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we're playing. Ooh, now we're playing. We are cooking with gas. Okay. Babe. I was. I like bologna. Me Do too. You? Uh, you know what I like even more than bologna? The word bologna. Mm. Yeah. I go. Yeah, that's fucking bologna. bologna. 
Yo, but is Bologna a uh, place in Italy? Oh, Trina, you just came back from Italy. I did last month. You yeah. heard anything about Bologna, the town or anything? It sounds like a town. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't I uh, tell you. have no idea. Where'd you I, go? I did Rome. Uh, you did Rome. I did Rome. Yeah. Hello. Trina does Rome. Debbie does <laughs> Rome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Eiffel Tower, you know what I'm saying, brother? Rome. <laughs> yeah, it's free little patty. It's a Rome. Huh? Talk about that. Bang, bang. Yeah. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, a small town in Tuscany and then Florence and then Venice. Okay. Venice was wild. Venice Venice was like Game of Thrones, like whatever really? the faraway lands was in Game of Thrones, like Essos or whatever. Oh, Essos. Yeah, like the capital? It was Essos. Like the, I don't know. Who knows? But no, like the other faraway land where like the weirdos were at, where people were yeah. like, oh, you guys have sex with like brothers. And it's like, what? Hell yeah. It was weird. Yeah. You felt that. Was, you felt that energy. You felt no, just because of the, the water. Air. Just because mm-hmm. like the, it's all canals. Like there's literally yeah. the bus is a boat. Yeah. I was like, oh, I got to go catch a boat. And it's like the bus. Oh. Yo, that's fucked. It was pretty chill. Damn. It was weird though. Actually, you know what was weird? That going to sleep not drunk. I hadn't had anything to drink all day. Why'd but you do that? feeling drunk because I was like, it was like I was swaying. It, like my head was still swaying in bed because I had spent like all day on these fucking boats. Right, 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 right. Yeah, drunk off Venice, the city. Yeah. 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 That drunk gondola on hits you hard. Yeah. But it was chill. It was all right. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I've yeah. never been to Venice and it's going to be gone soon. Why? The water. Climate change? Hey, this is a good news pod. Sorry. It's going to be here forever. What, you, what don't you understand? Yeah, you're right. You know what? With climate change, maybe uh, Mount Everest will be easier to climb What do you day. mean? I've never, heard of cl- <laughs> I've never heard of climate change. What is climate change? I don't know. I don't this is know. good news pod, babe. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Excuse me. Um, it's also National Tripe Day. Oof. The world's worst fish. No. Tripe is not fish. It's not? Tripe is cow intestine. Oh. oh. The worst fish. <laughs> like <laughs> cow intestines. <laughs> it's like tuna low. The chicken of the sea. Yeah, tripe. The, tripe is the fish of the land. Oh. <laughs> it is a delicacy amongst some cultures, or as my friend would say, a delicatessen. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's a delicatessen among some cultures. Yeah. yeah. Which culture? I know um, Latinos. Huh? Yeah. The Scottish, Scottish you try? The- I know Dominicans make like a tripe. It's really? called mondongo, like soup. It's like a oh. stew with the oh. tripe. Oh, I had haggis. That's what it is, right? Oh. Horrible. Scottish I- people are horrible at food. Wait, so the Scottish and the Dominicans are linking cross culturally on this tripe That's right. That's si- right. situation? Yeah. Would That's have what never we need. seen that. We need more people coming together, like the Scottish and the Dominicans. I've never thought about are they friends? What is their vibe? What is their history? But now we know their history. They've come together over the the, the, the tripe. Innards. Maybe that's what Mel Gibson was wearing. The Wasn't he wearing a, like a red and blue fa- face paint? Maybe oh, it was for... The Dominican flag. Maybe it was... In uh, what color? No, that's, that's true. No, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're connecting the dots. So this is what okay. we need more than ever. We need people to come together. And connect yes. the dots, yeah. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, I don't know. I was literally... You know what? I was about to... <laughs> I just had a flash in my brain where I was like, what am I going to say next? And you know the sentence that came to my mind? Please. I stand with the Catholics. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Frax. 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 Well, this ain't a good news podcast. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I was just, in my head, I was just thinking, where are the Catholics on this? Well, where are the Catholics? Minding their business, I certainly hope. <laughs> the Catholics? What do you mean? They know how to cover something up. My I God, mean, my God is Halloween goths. So what's goths? Goths. What does that mean? Like a goth. Girl. Oh, goth girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. With uh, big, with big swinging titties. <laughs> big old swinging cauldron titties. Yeah, ba la ba la ba la. Yeah, I'm looking for. I think Halloween season is what we should be focusing on. You think? Yeah, you think? we shouldn't be focused on the Catholics. What is this? What's going on over here? Uh, am I am I placing an order at the okay, Apple Store? Okay, here's what happens. Or? I found this tablet in my house. It is not an iPad. It is an Amazon Fire tablet. It is so not user friendly. This is, it's disgusting. The interface (laughs) is disgusting. Oh, it looks bad. It's riddled with ads. Anyway, but what I did was I typed into this tablet. I might become a tablet girl. I love that. I typed into the tablet, good news. Okay. So let's just go through some good news. But were you in the middle of a sentence? It doesn't matter. You could cut me off anytime you want. Really? There's, There's no ego attached to that. But you'd remember. Yeah, and actually, I probably wouldn't. You wouldn't. I don't really give a shit. It's more about mm-hmm. the vibes than it is about the words for me. Right, like the overall net experience of our of our relationship yeah. is positive. 
A hundred percent. So we don't need to worry about the little intricacies. I wish more people would live like that. What's right. the overall net, guys? It's true. What's the overall net? It's true. Yeah, we have to go tit for tat till we till, till the end of fucking time. And now, now I've had it. Now I'm getting upset. Frex, we are so in the positive. I, I'm not stressed. <laughs> Sorry, I just went naggy for a second. It's okay, but that's why we're here. We're life jackets today. Say, hey, mm-hmm. what's my role? My role is to read the good news. Here we go. Let's hear. So I type in good news. I'll read you some headlines. Florist surprises 800 widows with flowers on Valentine's Day. Jesus Christ. So it's a negative good story (laughs) because you're pointing out the fact that there's 800 widows. Yeah. Should I even click on that? I don't even know. No. 18 year old wins 48 million on her first time playing the lottery. So that infuriates me. That's They're trying to uplift me. I'm I'm furious with that headline. Oh, what would you my spend your Anthony, money on? My friend Anthony Gizzo's mom won a, she worked at the school and she won a million dollars on a scratch off. Stop. At Exxon. Yeah. Now that's a good news story. That now is. that's something you love to hear. Yeah. If you were 18, Shout out to her. what would you have spent all your money exactly, on? Exactly. That's the problem. I right? would have probably got like at least five to 10 pounds of weed. And then Min- <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want millions of dollars. You go, give me five pounds. All right. That's a few thousand. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like to start. Well, it's going to go to bad. Start. It's going to get stale. Of course. Yeah. So five to 10 pounds a week, you got to invest and then, and then move that. Right. So that's you become a drug dealer. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> You you invest in the future. You don't need to win the lottery to become a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you think that all your your weed dealers well, won want, the lottery? But I want to be like the BJ's of drug dealers. Uh, Is that like <laughs> a uh what do you call it? Wholesale. A wholesale. But what do they call that? Like the, the cartel pins. captain? Kingpin, thank yeah, you. you. Yeah, you want to be the cartel pin. captain. You want to be the first person to cut that bag, not the last. Right. Yes. You want to do the first cut of fentanyl in the, in the bag and Oof. not the last. Here, this story is infuriating. Uh-huh. So this ticket, $48 million lottery ticket was sold in Canada to someone who had never played the lottery before. They spit in the faces of everyone who plays the lottery every day and just wants a better life. Yeah. They All spit these- in the face, this 18-year-old. They bought it at a Circle K. I won't even say her name because I don't want her <coughs> getting doxxed. Ontario, Canada. I hate it. She said, quote, I had just turned 18. Kill me. And my grandfather, kill him, suggested I buy a lottery ticket for fun. Kill both of them. (laughs) And she just wins. (laughs) She just fucking wins. What a boring ass story, too. What a boring, dumb story. At first, I didn't understand what was going on. I couldn't take in the news. We made quite a scene in the store that day. End quote. Yeah, I would have made quite a scene in the store that day, too. Yeah, I would have started. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, you could do whatever you want. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. You ever known someone who won the lottery? And you never will. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me see. And then the article ends. Mind you, this is from a site called goodnews.com. The, it ends with a quote, money doesn't define you. It's the work you do that will define you. Yawn. Yawn. Done. Dead to me. Can I... Can I give a very unpopular opinion right now? You yeah. better, completely girl. nothing to do with good news. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about hocus pocus. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about hocus pocus. I don't either. And dog. I'm just gonna say it. I don't. I either. love Bette Midler. I live for her. Ka- the Jimmy, the other one, and SJP. Sarge, I love them. Good for you. I'm happy for everyone. But all this, it's October first. Gonna watch hocus pocus. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> all right. This is incredible. They should have never let you out of the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your Hocus Pocus. No, I have to get out more because I'm angry about Hocus Pocus. I know. Guys. I get it because, okay, when was that movie even made? Did I even see it? I'm not sure. TGIF was still on One TV, of the girls so. had a wart on her face, right? Sarah Jessica That's Parker. the defining characteristic of the movie, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yeah, that's what made them wish. I bet you love Hocus Pocus. Right? I've never seen it, if I'm being honest. <gasps> Whoa, Wait, we, we have to do watch it. Wait, we got to do. Wait. We got to watch it. Watch along. Yeah, we, oh, I'll do a watch along. Hocus, Hocus Pocus for yeah. Halloween. Yeah. With Bette Midler. I mean, Bette Midler's an icon. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Oh, my God. You guys, we have to watch I'm Hocus sure Pocus. I'm sure I did, but I just don't know. I remember one of the girls had a wart on her face. And was SJP already Sex in the City at that time? No. No? no? Wow. So where do they even find her? I don't know. Hanging out with know. Matthew. But what's her name? Kathy, Kathy or Kathleen? Kathy Najimi from My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Oh, uh, no. Sure. No, that's someone that's different. That's not her. I don't think. No, no, no. no. Um, that's someone different. Najimi mm-hmm. from Sister Act 2. Nice. I love yeah. Sister Act 2. Back in the Habit. You heard? 
Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I got to see this movie. I, I, Hocus Pocus. Do you want my Disney Plus password? No, thank you. Okay. You have a kid. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you can have like 17 profiles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe I'll ask my sister for hers. Okay. Okay. But if she says no, maybe I'll ask for yours. You can you can ask me for anything. That's I'm a woman of the people. This is amazing. Yeah. Wow, what a good day. Wow. I'm about to watch Hocus Pocus. She's paying it for her. She's spreading the love because that's what we're all about on this podcast. You yeah. know what sucks? So I was the person in my family that I paid for Paramount Plus. Mm. And my parents paid How for much? Netflix. I don't know, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, you know, something mm-hmm. like that. And I get my password around. I pay for Netflix. Now I can't watch Netflix on my computer. I Do I pull the Paramount Plus from my family? No, it's not their fault that uh, Netflix is an asshole. I know, but I heard Netflix is going to twenty three dollars. What a month? Uh, there's tears. Do you want to know what happened? Because yeah. I'm locked out of my cousin's Talk Netflix. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> the regular. First of all, they're bitches. The regular yes. that you were paying stayed the same price, but now it has ads. Mm-hmm. Kill yourself with the Canadian bitch. Okay? Hey, stay positive. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Um, make your money, I guess is positive. Okay. So now Netflix stay the same price with ads. If you want no ads, you go up to $16 a month and you can add a person outside your household for eight bucks. Then next level up, the premium uh-huh. top tier yeah. is like, yeah, like 23 a month. And you can add two people outside the household still for $8 each. Damn. Wow. That's I mean, honestly, it's kind of costing what it should cost now. Like, this is reflective of the value of the service. The only reason they got us all on this shit was because it was so cheap. Imagine out the gate, $23. No one signed up for that shit. No. Yeah. No. But now, now they're act. This is actually what it should cost, but I'm still not having it. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting next to Chet Hanks. I have, <laughs> or like I have emotional Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's going on today? I love Chad Hanks. Me too. Dwayne The Rock Johnson buys every Snickers at the Hawaii 7-Eleven he used to shoplift from. Well, great. I hope I'm not... Sa- I, no one's satisfied. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Let's go to the New York Post. Oh, They always got some good stuff going on. Hey, my former employee. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're a former employer? Did you get fired? Uh, No, they just stopped making content with me. Uh, so you got fired? A soft firing. A soft firing. A soft firing. An unrenew. An unrenew, we'll say. I get um, fired all the time. Our videos were getting 50 views on YouTube. It happens. <laughs> I did a thing with Comedy Central one time, and I was like, uh, this is going to be huge for me. And it got like 6,000 views on their YouTube, which is horrific. It's actually... It's, it's co- actually so funny how bad it did. Companies that do stuff online do horrible. It is so funny to me. It was horrible. Yeah. And they... like. We spent like, the, or I didn't spend, but they spent like a lot of money on it. It's like a full production. Yeah. Because yeah. it was like, well, I used to do movie reviews and I would take like melatonin and review movies and I called it Melatonin's Movie Reviews. And so they were, I was just me with my phone in the house mm-hmm. and I like pitched it to them like, let's do one for the Oscars. Yeah. And it could have been, it could have stayed just me with the phone in the house, but rented, they rented an apartment, full crew. Oh. We have a phone, but it's on like a, a rig. 6,000 6, views on YouTube. God bless. I mean, God bless them. I'm always open to do business. If you want to do business again, I'm here. Love CC. Once you go I union, love babe. CC, yeah. babe. Listen, no one's a bigger CC fan than me. Oh, my first commercial I was ever in was for Comedy Central. What was it? I don't know. Um, I forget. <laughs> I was just like a guy that walked in trying to get into like a club. I was 22. I was so excited to shoot it. Yeah. My mom was so excited to see me. It was like a promo for like the MTV Movie Awards or some shit like that. Oh, that's awesome to be young. Yeah, I like. I would. I would count my money. I would have like three dollars. I go. Oh, I have enough money for like a honey bun and and a yeah. bag of Cheetos. I, like those dates were so beautiful. They were simplicity. Yeah, when I didn't have a credit card, I couldn't just buy the store and then cry about it later. The credit cards are out of control. How young do kids get credit cards? The 18, rich ones, like the well-off ones, get them when they're young. Oh yeah, because you can add your kid as an authorized yeah, user. Yeah, and then they, and then that's oh. how. Because like when you see these kids and they're going to like fucking uh, PF Chang's and the Cheesecake Factory and ordering apps and a Coke and a and an entree. No, like how? I would always be like, how? I was. A I have like thirteen dollars. How are you getting all yeah. this stuff? And it's like, oh, they just have a credit card that's attached to their mom's credit card. I used to, my mom used to give me $20 to 
to go out to eat. And I would sit there and not eat. Stay with me. I would not eat so I could buy weed. I, and I would just grub off of everyone else's food. And then later in the night, everyone came to me for the weed. And my mom goes, how was Applebee's? I go, it was fucking awesome. So good, dude. It was so good. So good. <laughs> yeah, just I think we've talked about this on the show, but like the joys of being an adult with your own money and you can order a soda, an appetizer, and an entree and, and two appetizers if you want. Yeah. And extra fucking potato cakes or whatever. What did you get from? Oh, extra crispy mashed potatoes. That's yes. right. We went to Fu- uh, Fushimi, my oh, favorite restaurant. So good. We got to do the uh, company Christmas party. There. Oh yes. Oh we'll do, yeah. We'll do. We'll do company Christmas dinner there. That's Just, nice. Oh, sorry. The company I meant like just us, like oh. my company. Yeah. That's within your company. The, the company I'll pay for it. <laughs> yeah, the company the I company. Yeah. I'll pay for it. Of course. <laughs> Here's the good news from the New York Post. Man, 28, randomly stabbed in the New York City subway. <laughs> Can I tell you what I thought the first headline was? Yeah. I thought it was man, like, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh, man, 28, <laughs> stabbed in the subway. Man, <laughs> yeah, 28, Wait, stabbed in the subway. man. Such, that is so different. <laughs> A man who is 28 versus man. <laughs> 28 were people yeah. separate individuals man I can't believe the oh news again doing me dirty doing oh, you geez. dirty I don't like this 14 people robbed <laughs> um I've never tried to like read as we were doing the pod before that's why I'm so quiet right now that's okay I'm comfortable because I'm just looking at the headlines and gotta, I got to tell you, they're not uplifting me. Yeah, I would say news is probably, it's meant to bring you down. But this, yeah. I'm s- searching for good news. Well, who was the guy? John Krasinski tried to do the good news podcast. Remember during the pandemic? I bet it didn't even chart. <laughs> didn't even chart with that shit? It charted. He did? <laughs> did he? It, and now he's out. It charted. Okay. And he made a lot of money from I wonder what kind of news he was saying. He was saying stuff like, baby learns how to walk and, find, and walks a marathon. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like bullshit. It's like, like, it's like baby orphaned by COVID learns how to walk. Yeah. Stuff like that. So it's like it's like a backhanded compliment. It's like sad and happy at the same time. Dog with no legs meets its parents. Yeah. It's like, why is this happy? That's what I heard. That, 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 that's what I heard. Alec, Bard- Alec Baldwin caught a charge. Oof. Or is catching a charge. <clears throat> Oof. Where do we stand on manslaughter? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great question. The official stance of the official pod. Official stance of the pod. Alec Baldwin, murderer or no? Let me, I'll just read off. Special prosecutors dismiss. Mm. Prosecutors investigating rush shooting intend to bring involuntary manslaughter charge against Alec Baldwin before a grand jury. New Mexico prosecutor, well, same thing you just read. One source added that Baldwin's case will be brought before a grand jury in mid-November. Something to look forward to. What do we say, guys? You need something to do, someone to love, and something to look forward to. Okay? Now we have an Alec Baldwin uh, case. That's nice. To look forward to. There have been recent discussions of a plea deal and a petty misdemeanor that was rescinded over the weekend, according to two sources. Um, it is unfortunate that a terrible tragedy has been turned into this misguided prosecution. Baldwin's attorney said, "We will answer any charges in court." All right, so it's not really telling us much except involuntary manslaughter. What do we think, guys? What is? I I think it's it was from negligence is Correct. the problem. Yes. Yeah. So I think that something has to be done because of negligence, at least financial, re- like. Something financial for the woman's chill family and children. Yeah. Right? Right. It, you know, it's hard to say when it's not you, but it's it's kind of just like, what is going... This isn't someone who needs, uh, how do you say, like what, like rehabilitation. Yeah, no. Right. Like, what is jail going to do? Nothing. And, and not just in this case. I think in a lot children. of cases. Well, right, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's his first daughter's name? Ireland? I'd be... Pissed as shit I if I was her. Yeah. The yeah. one he had with it the... one way to splitting it 14 ways. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, my God. If When daddy's rich, I'm paying for but the But here's my question. Here's my question. And this is for real. How is Alec Baldwin rich? 30 Rock money is not wealth. It's Here's... not going to last a lifetime. What else? What? What else? Yeah, literally. What else? Let's start with Beetlejuice. 
Yeah, but What's movies that? like that, they're not, they're not wealth builders. He made some money. Get up the net worth, please, Mike. Thank you. Net worth has to be through the roof. I mean, he he was How? Wall Street, right? Or what was the what was the movie where he gave that famous speech? Glenn oh, Glenn Gary. Glenn Gary. Glenn, Glenn Ross. Supposers. But yeah. no, but but you even if you get paid a, back then maybe like a million dollars to do that movie, that's not generational wealth to to provide for twelve children. I don't know how royalties work. Open so I don't the know. books. I, I think that he had investments. <laughs> And I mean, he came from be. money. He's from Long Island. I mean, you yeah. know, you got to be a little something to yeah. be there. Yeah. People yeah. from Long Island pretend they don't have money. According to Celebrity Net Worth, which I'm sure isn't true, $70 million. Okay. Celebrity wow. Net Worth says Alec Baldwin is worth $70 million. It's almost poor. For that many kids? Yeah. House in the Hamptons, house upstate, house here, house there. I'm going to do He's better when my parents die. He must have invested. He must <laughs> have invested so in Nobu. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are. I'm kidding. I won't. You will. I don't know if I said it on the pod or not, but my, I got a text from my dad like a few months ago. He said, turbulence on the plane, Northwest Mutual, two policies. You said that. You told us that before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, really? I never pictured myself as someone who would inherit money, but. <laughs> the Departed. You're telling me that movie didn't do numbers? Oh. But what did but what did he do in The Departed? He was the head of the state police. That's like an acting role. Like Yeah. That He's doesn't an actor. Make, that doesn't make generational wealth like that. Oh, so He's you're not saying a blockbuster like, star. Apparently 30 Rock was 300,000 and that. Whoa. And it's in syndication. And he was probably in like 7 minutes of the show. Boss yeah. baby. Boss baby, that's one a, and that's two. a franchise. That's a franchise. Yeah, the when, cartoon. When I'm thinking wealth and thinking, you have to not only be in a movie, you have to be an executive producer with back end points, and you have to what? This is just funny. This is what our good news is. We're happy for him. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how he makes all that money. It's pretty beautiful. Maybe it's also stuff we don't see. You know how like sometimes you'll get a writing credit and like people are filthy rich or like, you know what I've always said? I may, I may have said this on the pod too. My dream is somewhat to be like the dude who played Chewbacca or like whoever. Yeah. Or like uh, totally. you could just walk down the street and be and go to the supermarket, but yeah. you're like filthy rich. Like and Sia. It. Sia. Like Sia. Sia plays that game. Although I was a fan of her when she was like showing her face in her indie days. Wow. These little black sandals are walking me away. But now I think I I think I remember her like I remember hearing her say like yeah I can go to Target and my song will be playing in Target and I'm just there with no disguise and nobody knows who I am. Yeah. Genius, genius way to play it. Fame sounds if you fame or money, what do you want? Money. Money. I don't want fame at all. I want money. I think fame is a game for kids. For children. Children want fame. Yeah. Adults want money. That's how you know your brain is fully developed. You made a lot of money. You made a lot of money. If yeah, I, people went to the theaters, right. you know. Mm-hmm. I want to make, I think my dream amount of money to make, $150,000. No, you need more. Of like $300,000. Oh, like a year? Yeah. 300000 I Your think I would dream be good money? With, not dream, but I think I would be good with that. How much do you want? I want enough so that I want millions. Million. <laughs> yeah, same. I want millions. I want millions. Okay. Well, I'll be very generous. Me too. Oh my god, mm-hmm. I would be. Uh, my dream. So I'm turning 35, and are we back on the pod? Yeah, we're back on the pod. On uh, my dream for my 35th birthday, I'm trying to put it together. Is rent a hot tub that tours that goes around <laughs> New York City, and I just want to be able to just pay for it all and just invite my friends. <laughs> When's yeah. your birthday? August. Oh. 24th. That's my dad's birthday. Stop. And Dave Chappelle's birthday. Stop. I know. You guys are brothers. That's so funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. But my dream is to like, I want to have money so I could do fun things with friends. Yeah. yeah. Like I never want to. I know. I feel that way too. I would never. Just throw the card down. Even like my oh. dream wedding is like, I just book like a ton of villas and I go, just come if you want. Yeah. I booked all the villas on the beach. Just come through. Oh, God. That's like my dream wedding. My dream birthday even for this year. Yeah. Which is actually possible. What? I'm just going to book like four suites at the Borgata and go, come. This is amazing. And it's going to be a Monday night, though. So it's like cheap. What are you, January? Yeah, January. I so bet. come through. Going to pencil bang, bang. it in. That's pencil awesome. Pencil it in. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. That's awesome. What's what day of January? January 9th. 
amazing I'm there. So it'll be Monday to Tuesday. And we just go to the fucking Borgata. They have a Game of Thrones slot. They have every they have everything you need. Yes. Oh, if God. we live to January, oh, negative. Negative. Please don't. Negative. Please. I thought I was dying the other night. Pull it back in. Please pull Why'd it back. Why do you think you were dying? Indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> indigestion. I'll catch you. I'm 34. Indigestion. I go. Am I dying? <laughs> And what did it feel like? A heart attack? No, just I kept burping up at fire. I kept burping really? fire. I go, what's <sighs> happening? I go, did my liver explode? Are you still Are you still not drinking? Not really. Okay. I had not a couple really. drinks. That's like, I yeah. had a couple drinks the other day. I did the same thing. Yeah. I had a couple drinks the other day. Who didn't have, who among us has not had a couple drinks the other day? The other day I had two drinks. I did. The other day is the day that everybody drinks. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the other day. I had a couple drinks the other day. It was appropriate. It was a special day. It was the other day. I, it's not today. No, I would never do that today. I today would, I'm busy. I don't yeah. drink today. the other day. I drink. Today I have to do a fantasy. Okay, this is insane, guys. Okay, I joined a fantasy basketball league. Oh my I god! Love this so thing. I have to do my draft tonight, and I don't totally know what's up, but I know I'm going Dame Lillard first pick. Dame time. What number are you in the in the draft? Seven. Not good. And how many people are there? Like twelve. So at least you'll get the back around the horn. You'll get a good number two. Oh, so you know about yeah, that. Yeah, is it a snake draft? So, like, yeah, so apparently yeah. it's like you go seven and then back. Yeah, yeah. So Makes it fair. Does it? It does. Yeah, closer to okay, fair. closer to fair. Yeah, you know what's nice about six <laughs> days behind? What? I could say I didn't drink today. But then six days from now, I could go, yeah, I drank the other day and I could have drank today. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that was so was such a web of words you just weaved. I was trying and to get, I didn't totally follow, but I was trying I to get, to get to the positive. Hey, the positive. <laughs> the positive. I accidentally ordered. So I was with someone and they go, they go, I have a Manhattan. And they go, oh, do you want the same? Thinking they, I that meant I want the same from before, vodka soda. I go, yeah, I'll do the same. They bring me into Manhattan. Oh, oh God. I looked like such a little pussy. I couldn't yeah. even get it down. It burnt. Yeah, I don't like Manhattan. It's not good. Oh, I like a bourbon, but I don't like a Manhattan. No, I don't. I, I'm not a tough man. I'm not a hard man. <laughs> I'm a soft man. I like soft drinks. Soft man. I like daiquiris, virgin. Really? I really? hate daiquiris. I'll do a virgin I daiquiri. I like sugar. Yeah. If I'm call? drinking sugar, I'm doing full flavor Coca-Cola. <laughs> Sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your tequila, by the way? No, but it's okay. I just, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But also, I'm on my tequila slam, shit. I'll it's slam a shot after this pod with you, even though I don't drink anymore. Not not today. <laughs> not today. I'm slam on shot. tequila only. It's an upper. It's positive. <laughs> All the other alcohols are a downer. Tequila no, is an upper. It's positive. What is this logic you have going on over no, here? It's no, it's a fact. Right, tequila back me up. is an upper. That's why. That's why. <laughs> so you should you... never mix Coke and tequila. No, no, no. But like, <laughs> that's why when you do tequila, you're trying to fuck immediately. Oh. For me, that's Jameson. You're either really? fucking or fighting. See, yeah, oh. I'm fighting with Jameson. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Jameson doesn't even hit me till like uh, two to three hours Shot later. Seven. Oh, and then it hits me like a ton of bricks. And then really? I'm, in the, I'm in the road, babe. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, tequila is like my like you know party. That's definitely the party drink. Yeah. Uh, me, fifteen beers. Yeah, and but then you have to pee so it much. Slow you down? I love it. I feel like such a fucking. Du- I I never feel like a dude unless yeah. it's drinking time, and then I'm like, get me a fucking Coors Light, when you get finish, me a Bud. When you finish it, do you crush the can. No. Oh, I a wish. Soft That's soft. I'm soft. Yeah, I'm sensitive. I go. Where's the recycling yeah, bin? Where's the recycling? <laughs> I actually I fuck with beer heavily. The drawback is that. Peeing as a woman, or however you identify, but <laughs> peeing with a pussy is so Thank you. tedious, bro. Okay, take you me through. Hover. I don't have the yeah. quads to pee, beer pee in public. I don't have the quads to yeah. take beer pisses in public. It's just, it's so time consuming. I'm going to tell you right now, I'll build a nest, sit right down. You're building, build a nest. I'll yeah. build a nest, sit right down. Yeah. You What's gotta, build an S? You just put mud, tons of toilet paper all around the seat. Pop, pop, pop right down there. Wow. And then I get on my phone. I get the vape out. It's like, it's like I'm at home. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah. That's how you stay positive. Yep. You treat every place like your home. I'm at home everywhere I go. Except for most social situations and all professional situations. Otherwise, I'm at home everywhere I go. I was in the bathroom the other day and I was in the stall peeing. The guy next to me was in the stall peeing and I heard a noise and I saw water coming down. I go, bro, whoa, 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 what's going on? Mm. He goes, oh shit, I was peeing with the lid down. <laughs> <laughs> on the phone. People on, on the, the phone. phone. On yeah. the phone. On the phone. Wasn't even drunk. 
Now, for all my for all my vapors out there, you know the horror of having the vape in the back pocket. You go to pull the pants down, and the vape goes right into the toilet. Ooh. Yeah. That's all my tough. vapors out there know how negative that feels. Or the vape touches the ground. Ooh, and then you got to make that choice. You got to make that. Every woman must make that choice in her life. And I'll tell you when this. When you drop the vape on the public bathroom floor, Ooh. are we smoke? and it's a new pod? Girls, are we smoking or not? You're smoking. Life is too short. We're smoking. You're I've smoking. dropped a cigarette on. on the street and I'm like, there's worse shit in the cigarette. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's fine. Oh, you know what? We talk- I stopped smoking. I just started eating street. <laughs> <laughs> licking the curb. Leaves, leaves the cigarette, licks the curb. Yeah. <laughs> um... You know what we haven't done in a while? And I'm really wondering what the conditions are on the road and in Oof. the skies. And I was wondering, Triber Trina, could you check in with a little traffic and weather? Guys, I can tell you everything. The weather is a bunch of bullshit. For the past two months, it's been sunny Monday through Thursday and absolute garbage Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Fuck you, Mother Nature, because you want to know what? My precious baby daughter is going to be one on Monday, the 23rd. OK, whatever. This is days of future past. But this podcast, <laughs> but my baby daughter who deserves the world is going to be one. And all we wanted to do was throw a pumpkin patch party. And now we're relocating into a fucking little hall room, whatever situation. We're decorating. It's going to be cute. I mean, it's still going to be cute. It's going to be nice. But it won't stop raining. And I made Mm. three different flyers because we kept changing (laughs) all the details. And now, and of course, starting the next weekend in October, it's going to be beautiful every weekend now after that until the end of time. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck you for raining all the time. So that's the weather. Check. I had surgery a couple weeks ago. Everything's fine, but mm-hmm. I've been home. I've okay. been home. So I don't really know about traffic too much. Uh, oh, so the bus lane, I might have been complaining about it on a previous pod. I will say shout out Gridlock Sam. Shout out the engineers who get paid very good money, buku bucks, to figure it out. Because let me tell you something. I am now making it from my block down to the Bronx River in like one series of traffic lights. Never, never have I ever. So that's good news. East Gun Hill Road is moving. Things are improving. A city... A city that is living is always progressing. You Where's, understand? I, I do. Could you? Okay. Kind of tied to the world situation, but I just want to talk locally. Do you feel tied to this land? Like, land? like, how do you feel about, like, I feel no connection to where I live. You, your apartment or my like apartment. Brooklyn? Brooklyn, my apartment. I love Brooklyn. Do you feel like, like... Would you fight? Like, I'm just thinking about the premise of, like, throughout history, everyone's fighting over land. Yeah. If it feels like, leave here, and you have out taking everything from you, and you have nothing. Yeah. I guess I'd fight. If someone's like, hey, you got to move. Eh, I don't move, I guess. But that's different. Yeah. If they're paying for if I'm, like, have money from it, you know? I, I guess what I'm, I've been thinking about, like, some people have lived where they are for hundreds of years. Right, and yeah. they feel that connection to the to the fucking ground and the earth, and like they feel their ancestry there. I don't feel that anywhere. Listen, Do you feel like hundreds of years of connection to the Bronx? Well, yeah, I have. I'm a third generation New Yorker. I have hundreds of years connection to the Bronx. So you do. My grandpa was born in 1918. I don't know if he was born in the USSR or if he was born here, but either way. It's over 100 years that my family's been yeah. in the Bronx, New York and, and Brooklyn, but mostly Bronx. Mm-hmm. And okay. yeah, but it's just like. Uh, it's different. I think it's different for us because it's New York and because it's a melting pot. So I don't think we're as tribal as other places. We're not mm-hmm. homogenous. And right. so to to take expel a group of people as opposed to a collection of individuals i think right. that's different it's different yeah yeah, yeah. you know because there are like towns in italy or what are all over that place where it's like oh this is just the house that my grandfather lived in and his grandfather and his grandfather and his grandfather and his grandfather i think that and i don't know if we really have that in in brooklyn in- there was spots but people that's the problem with gentrification they like kick people out of homes that have been in their family for years some one was telling me that they're um, they just they got ripped off for like a brownstone in Bed Stuy for like like three hundred thousand dollars when it should be millions of dollars. 
because people need money instantly and they like yeah that's like three hundred thousand dollars that could change my life but you should be getting millions yeah yeah so I, but i do think there are some people that have been living on one in one place for a while you know yeah and it's hard to get pushed out of a place maybe out of maybe outside of new york it's more like if you have a farm or something i'm not connected like, to my like, apartment and i've been there yeah. for two years because i'm like when the fuck am i gonna move Right. right, like people don't hang up televisions in New York because right. we go. Well, what am I doing? Right, exactly. I, right. I lived in my current spot for three years. I have nothing on the walls. It's like I, sad, actually. Exactly. <laughs> it's like oh, I guess I should buy, buy stuff. I my don't know. friend just moved, I'll... and she was like, "I don't even need to pack. I have half my shit in boxes. I've been in my place for two years." Yeah, she had issues. But then is it no? But then isn't that a <laughs> no <laughs> comment? Then isn't that an indication of the excess that we live in? If something's been in a box for two years and you didn't look for it, throw it away. Yeah. But what then about you'll papers? need it the you got a box. I have a big box of oh papers. Oh my God, there's so many papers. So many papers. Oh, uh, you got to throw that shit away, babe. I bought a shredder. <laughs> I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I bought a shredder. You bought a shredder? I love to wow. shred. Once a year, I do a big shred. That was the most mom thing I've ever heard you say. I bought a shredder. No, Uh-oh. I have a shredder too. You got to have a shredder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Really? You got to have a shredder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's one thing I will buy. Yeah. Mike I won't shredder? buy anything for the walls. Uh, no, you got to get one. You can get them cheap, you, 30 bucks. What do you, crumple willy-nilly? You're not, afra- out. you're not afraid of people seeing your thoughts and address? No. Nah. Huh. Sometimes social security, nah. but more importantly, your thoughts. You've never been so angry with someone and had so much trauma, you had to write out an inventory so you could see your side of the street so that you could let it go? Frex, can I tell you? I, I can't have, <laughs> on the phone. And they, so what, so it goes to my Gmail? What's no. The year was 2011. Get a shredder. The year was 2011. The year was 2011. And the guy I was dating, who I thought I was going to marry, moved back home to California. (gasps) And I was so heartbroken and so upset. And then you turn it into anger, as we do. Right? As well-adjusted women. And and I remember, (laughs) shout out our girls, because they carry us, okay? So I remember my friend's balcony in LES. We sat there and made a list. And at the top of the list, it said... I should have left your ass when mm. dot dot that, dot that, and, you put all that and a list of yeah. all the times I should have left your ass. Yeah. And it was good because every now and then, you know, nostalgia is a seductive liar. Yeah. And every now and then I would open up that uh, that I would miss them. I would open up and I would say, oh, yeah, you did wear sweatpants to the bar on my fucking birthday, you uh- motherfucker. <laughs> and I should have left wow. your ass when you did that. Yeah, wow. you need that. You got to make a list. You got to make those of why you hate lists. people. You got to. You got to. For I've, the soul. I've never done that. I still hang up the ornament. Me and my ex, it has our name on it. I put it in the back of the tray. <laughs> <laughs> I put it way down so the cats can. <laughs> I wait until it breaks. And for some reason, it gets knocked off every year. It doesn't break. Um, I mean, but how do you let go of things? Maybe it's a girl thing. You have to write it down and then destroy it. How do you, how do men let go of things? Yeah. We destroy ourselves. <laughs> Men's mental health, health awareness month. <laughs> how do men do it? We rip ourselves apart. We, we don't start wars. Yeah, we start wars. We, yeah. we watch the Peaky Blinders and jerk off. And we say, "I am him. <laughs> <laughs> I am great. the Peaky Blinders." <laughs> um, listen, you gotta get a shredder, and that's the good news that they're so affordable. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon.com. It's good news. I'm sure there was a point in time where a shredder was a real luxury. Not a, not anyone could just get their hands on a paper shredder. Right. And if you did, people were like, the fuck is this guy yeah. shredding? Now he was shady. Now people were like, what, is he fucking committing tax fraud? Exactly. What are you, Bernie Madoff? Yeah. Okay. Didn't they have a whole floor where they shredded documents? <laughs> I, so. I, forget, I feel like I remember that from the movie. Like They had the floor where they did the official business, and then the upstairs floor was like just sh- for document shredding. See, he knew. He knew what was up. My mom has a shredder. She loves it. See? So it might be a female thing. My mom, she goes like this when Bed Bath & Beyond closes. She goes, I've been waiting to do this for years. And she takes a a Ziploc bag full of coupons, a Bed Bath & Beyond coupons, and starts shredding them. She goes, I've been waiting to do that for years. (laughs) Like, it was such a wait because she couldn't throw them out till the company went under. It's very freeing. It's very Sometimes I'll put credit cards in there. I'll put uh, car, put photos in there. Because there's a big problem our generation has of the disposable camera era. Mm -hmm. And then you do Uh, a CVS and they give you two of everything. Right. And then some of them, you just, you don't, they don't need to exist. Right. You got to get the shredder for that. Right. Yeah. 
Well, I feel like we've really uplifted ourselves today. Yeah. I Are you guys great. also feeling so, so good? I, f- I feel great. Yeah. How much weed do you want? Me? Zero today. But I think if the half-life, I must be fucking to the moon. Yeah, I've been every day. I've been taking a ton of weed. When's the last time you had to take a drug test? Um, my mom made me take a drug test before, sh- after prom, because I came home so fucked up in order to go to Wildwood uh, with my friends course. the next yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, and she said I failed. Mm. And and then I l- later looked in her in her closet in the, like the medicine cabinet, and it was just ketone strips. Mm. She did, she was bluffing the whole time. Oh, she was bluffing. She was bluffing. <gasps> So, so you didn't so go the, to Wildwood? So then no, she I said, did. She said you failed and you go, I'm sorry. No, so you I said, admitted it. You didn't. I said, I, I didn't believe science. Good for you. you, held, you held I said, I said no. I, well, that's far, that's wrong. I said, I'm going to Wildwood. Yeah, of course you're going to Wildwood. And then at Wildwood, my friend brought so much so much coke that he just mm. rinsed it under a sink because he felt so sick. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> just a plate of coke, put it yeah. under a sink. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. what shit's bad. <laughs> That's that's what goes down in Wildwood. I probably saw you down there that weekend. Yeah, first time I had anal. (laughs) (laughs) Tell us about it. How much did your butt hurt? Oh, (laughs) I barely make. I'm sitting on a donut still. Did you cry? (laughs) I cry. I cry. Yeah, I cry too. Um, so that's positive. Positive. (laughs) Thank you, everyone, for being here. We'll see you next week. Thanks for coming, Trina. Thanks for coming, Sebastian. Much love to all of our listeners. Rate, review, subscribe. Stay alive.